so what I started thinking about is, hey, you know what? The local doctor, the local dentist, the local CPA, those guys have what I call lifestyle businesses. You know, they're, they're saving nickels at a time instead of getting a $100 bill when they sell it, right? Why don't I just back up and just do that? And when I started thinking that way, I started realizing if I'm just producing, I'm really, when I had, when I had all those people, I was actually making less money because I was trying to be conscious about, hey, somebody calls me for a loan, I'm going to give it to one of my guys. I want to keep them. I want to be a good, you know, employer, blah, blah, blah. Well, that was stupid. Mm. And so what happened was half of those guys that left took, took my customers with them, you know? Or the agents were mad that I gave them off to somebody else and didn't do business with either one of us. And and then I just went back and I went, no, that's not the way I'm going to build my business. So I've rebuilt my business on a lifestyle business that works for me and the way I like to do things. And so it's Connor and I, and we have an assistant named Amy, and Amy handles all of our stuff. And I'm like, Connor, there's only 10% of the people in this country that can go out and make a deal happen. And you and I are blessed with that. We got the ability to go out and shake hands and kiss babies and have fun doing that and then we need somebody else to do the rest of the stuff and amy does that and we have a uh, april that does that so we've got this incredible devoted staff that's been with us a while knows the stuff and so it smoothed it all out and so i get to do the the stuff that i love amy does the stuff she loves connor's you know so everybody's happy with